All right, everyone, I just want to quickly announce to every single viewer and investor that there's two ticker symbols towards the end of this video. So stay tuned till the end. One of them we've talked about previously. And the last one I've just added and incorporated to the video because I want every single investor to be aware of these ticker symbols. And I have a new one added on for the watch list going into this week. Now, it's consolidating. It could have a slight pullback. Don't get me wrong, but the lower it goes, there's two ways to look at it. It's going down and that might not be an opportunity or it's going down and this is the opportunity. You have to do your due diligence and research, but there's a lot of potential going into this year for this sector and this stock. So stay tuned till the end so you don't miss information on this one. It's been growing exponentially and since November and I believe there's room for more, but again, I'm not a financial advisor. You have to do your due diligence. So keep in mind, there's two ticker symbols to stay tuned for towards the end of this video. All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol IDEX, Ideonomics Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel. Invest for tomorrow to all the subscribers. Welcome back. And as we jump into this chart and we explain everything that Ideonomics is showing us, here in the charts i do want to announce that i have a ticker symbol that you definitely want to add to your watch list we're going to talk about it towards the end of the video if you watched yesterday's video and you had a chance to hear out what that ticker symbol was if you want to refresh on the information you can but this one's really for anybody coming across it for the first time or didn't have a chance to listen to it yesterday so it's the same ticker symbol from yesterday but it is a new ticker symbol that i've been talking about that you definitely want to keep on your radar and if you saw it yesterday, I highly recommend refreshing on all the information, looking at the chart and how it moved today. So here we are with IDEX, Ideonomic Sync. We've had a run, right? Broke through resistance, broke through the 50 day moving average, even broke through some of the highs here that we've talked about 342, up here at 344. The next one was up here at 354 and then all the way up here at 374. Now it's back right back down at it. And if it can create a support here and bounce back, it can build some momentum or consolidate up here. That would be probably the healthiest thing to happen for the stock. But right now it's at 342. The 50 day moving average is 321. As long as we're above it, we're in bullish territory. The moment we're below it, we're in bearish territory. Let's go ahead and move our resistance and support to their new location. And I'm going to go ahead and dissect this chart just a little bit more than what you see currently. So one thing I do want to talk about is where we're at, where we're at, where it was, right? Brought itself up. It's continuing the move. We talked about that in yesterday's video. And when you always zoom out, even though it fell, it came up and it's falling and it kind of consolidated in this area, it's been moving. It's been moving from those lows of 160 way back when we talked about it in December and we've been tracking it. Now, one thing is that when we zoom into this area, which let's go ahead and remove some of these lines and circles, there's some consolidation forming here. And if it could stay within this pattern, it's going to be healthy until the next catalyst. Or this could have been the consolidation and the catalyst has formed. We're going to see that staircase effect start to happen and then it continues to bounce upwards, right? And it came from down here, right? So we really, really want to pay close attention to IDEX. We've talked about its potential. We've talked about how its negative reputation at one point hurt it back here, but the opportunity of growth and innovation is there. It's definitely there, but we need to watch it carefully every time because of its history. Another thing we wanted to watch for is how I circled this I circled this previously and we were looking at if this reaction downwards here was going to mimic this downward trend here and mimic this downward trend that lasted for a while. Now it's not doing that. It actually fell back. A lot of investors saw that as a discount, pulled it back up. We had some consolidation and now we're running again. We need to see some consolidation up here or continuing the run and consolidating at newer highs. That would be a really healthy sign moving forward so that's another thing too i want every single investor uh, to be aware of so let's go ahead and put 
our resistance and support to their new locations. We talked about our 50 day moving average and our support here is right at this point 335. 335 is not that far from where the price currently sits. It's at 343. If 335 gets broken through, the next point of reference would be down here at 328. And the reason why this one's pretty important as well is because that was a slight resistance level here before the fall here. It was the second highest point, right, before it fell from 331 to newer lows. So right there at that point, 328, it's a good midway point between 320 to 35, excuse me, and 328 and the 50 day moving average to see how the stock is doing. Like if the bulls are trying to reappear, are the bears tearing this one down, or are the bulls trying to reappear and bring it back up? So very, very important to kind of dissect it. It's optional. I would use it, but it's completely optional. But I like to see as much as I can how it's reacting and how it's moving within those areas. But 325, super important to watch carefully how the stock is moving. Now, our resistance level is 354. If that gets broken through, the next resistance level would be up here at this point, And that's 374. And that's the highest point recent, recently reached. And 354 being broken through and turned into a support can then mean that the bulls are working their way up to newer highs, new resistance levels, and pulling away from the 50-day moving average in the upward direction. So very, very important to keep that in mind. And 354, I do want to emphasize the bulls need to break through it and turn it into a support to continue the momentum and work their way up deeper into bullish territory. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community, and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Stay tuned till the end, because I have a ticker symbol you definitely want to add to your watch list. So for everyone that has stayed to this point in the video, the ticker symbol I'm about to share with you guys is one I've been watching for some time, but it was hanging out around the same area for almost a month or maybe even longer. And I was just trying to see because things were looking kind of quiet, but analysis ratings were being upgraded in the last few months and weeks leading up to this point, And I wasn't seeing much movement, but they were stating that their upgrades, you know, are forecasts up in like six months from now, a year from now. And this ticker symbol, you've probably heard about it before. I highly suggest doing more research on it and doing your due diligence. But the ticker symbol is ZNGA, Zynga Inc. I don't know if you guys have heard about it before, but it was hanging around the same area. You could see some consolidation here within the $9 mark. And then also a little bit before that, it was around that area and it fell. So I was watching it. I was trying to see... You know, are these upgrades really true? Are these forecasts possible? And now we're seeing it actually running up. So this is definitely one you want to add to your watch list. And especially since it broke out of this consolidation here. And instead of going in the opposite direction, like we saw previously when it ran up to the $9 mark and it pulled back, it actually ran up to the $9 mark. It held pretty well and it ran up now to highs here of about $11. Now, $11 is actually what analysis rating target price targets are actually. They're rating it to be on the low end, $11, the mid end around 12 and some change, and the high end that I've seen unless anybody upgrades higher than that, so far is anywhere between $14 to $15. Now the fact that it ran up and it's pulling back, this is probably a good time to watch this and keep it on your radar moving forward because it still has room to grow. Now, when I see those numbers of 11 plus, you can see the history of the chart. It was growing its way up and it reached highs here of about 11.15. So anything above $11 are new highs and they're going to be new resistance levels to be broken through. This is definitely one to have on your watch list moving forward. I've seen a lot of good things about it and I definitely recommend doing your research and due diligence to then make a rational decision. But you want this one on your radar, especially now that I saw the consolidation actually get broken through. That means that this has momentum to possibly continue to run. Now, 
The reason why this broke through recently is because of good news. I mean, you're going to see articles pop up. They made it into India, I believe, and so forth. So they're expanding. But this company has a lot of potential moving forward. They dominate in their sector of internet software services of games and so forth. And also, they're looking to expand internationally, which is going to be growth. And when a company's growing, its stock share should probably grow as well and market capitalization over time. So very interesting. I definitely wanted to share this with you guys because I was watching it closely. It dipped. It started to run up. We were watching the consolidation. It looked like it was going down here at the beginning of January, back down to $8 and some change. But no, it came back and it actually broke out of that area. Those resistance levels up here at the high $9 mark and beginning $10 mark and hit 11 and now it's pulling back. So you definitely want to watch this one closely moving forward. As always, if you found the video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share it with your friends and community. Don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. And as always, thank you so much and let's make some money. So for everyone that has stayed to this point in the video, the ticker symbol I'm about to share with you guys has been growing exponentially since November. And this whole sector has been growing overall. Now there could be a slight pullback and that could be looked as a pullback that makes you kind of stay away or a pullback that invites you in because it might be an opportunity. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell or hold, but this is a ticker symbol you want to keep on your radar moving forward. It's grown a lot and I believe going into 2021, there's a lot of more room for it to grow. So the ticker symbol is CLNE, Clean Energy Fuels Corporation. A lot of these ticker symbols in this sector have been overlooked because a lot of people are talking about fuel cell, they're talking about plug power, you know, uh, spark energy, uh, blink, you know, they're talking about all these different uh, ticker symbols within this sector that sometimes there's so many that we overlook some of the ones that have been growing steadily. So here we are with CLNE with consolidation periods since November, right? And here we are with consolidation periods right now even since the beginning of january and running up consolidating and it looks like it might have potential to have another catalyst to run up again a lot of analysis ratings are saying that this one can reach 12 dollars. i believe analysis ratings may have to even upgrade and reiterate that as this continues to grow going into 2021 and by upgrading it it can continue to push this in that upward momentum so I believe that is a possibility going into the year. But right now, what we want to look for is will it continue to consolidate or will we see a slight pullback? But if we do see a slight pullback, I mean, as long as it stays above 760 and even up here at 854, that could be a good sign that it's staying above these gains here that started this next run and consolidation, which in turn can tell us, okay, this is pulling back. It's holding itself up just a slight bit, some profit taking or uncertainty. This might be, like I said earlier, opportunity, or it might be a stock you want to stay away from. There's two ways to have that perspective and look at it. That's why you have to do your due diligence and research so that you can be better equipped as an investor to make a rational decision. So I want you guys to be aware that CLNE is one you want to keep on your radar and watch list going into 2021. It's grown exponentially already, but I believe there's a lot more room here for this one going into the year. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.